Have you ever woke up in the morning, life is going great, and in the afternoon or later on in the night, you're sitting there behind a bar or at home having a few cool ones, and you wake up the next morning and you're all upset and you say to yourself, how the hell did I get there? How did I get there? My intentions were never to drink again or drink, never to drink one day at a time, and here I am drinking again. How? did I get there? And that this video hopefully is going to help you answer that question because you know something, I relapsed at nine months and I relapsed at 14 months. But I'm going to tell you something, my relapse did not start the time, the day I started to drink. It didn't. It started weeks or months before I started to drink. And what I'm talking about when it comes to recovery, if we don't change, if we don't work a program, if we don't start telling the truth to somebody, go to therapy, whatever it may be, whatever it is that you're doing for your recovery, if we don't start participating in that and doing some changes, you know what comes along and we have no defense over it? I'm gonna tell you, you ready? Here we go, one, two, three. What it's called is the mental obsession to drink and the mental obsession is very powerful it's almost like it talks us in to going back out to drink that our lives would be better if we drank this mental obsession can be very powerful most of us ignore it we think we can handle it it's just old behavior or old talk or you may t tell somebody and they may say just ignore it. Well, I'm telling you, if you start obsessing, have a mental obsession to drink, and you don't do anything about it, I will guarantee on a stack of Bibles, I'll give you $100, you'll be drinking. You'll be drinking because that is obsession. It will take over your life and nothing big has to happen. It's just we go through life, and this is what it is, we go through life and we don't change. We don't change. We have no defense over it. We don't change. We don't get honest with ourselves. We don't work a program. We don't get a sponsor and start telling them what's going on. We don't help others. We don't go to addiction counselors. We don't do anything to change our lives, any of our coping mechanisms, any of our behaviors. We don't change. So what happens is we go through life and life is pretty normal. But our coping mechanism is gone because the booze is gone. And we still do the same thing over and over and over like we were drinking. When we were drinking, we, we adapted coping mechanisms, behaviors, and responses to the world around us because we had the alcohol. And when you take away the alcohol, we still respond in that way. You know, you know, just because you quit alcohol doesn't mean you, you're recovered or in recovery. It doesn't mean that. You need to get involved. You need to do something about your life, okay? Work the 12 steps, go to smart recovery, addiction counselor, church groups, whatever it is, something that focuses on your addiction, hang around like-minded people because if you don't, if you don't, this mental obsession will come and it might be a week, it might be a day, it might take a year, but you will drink again. Guarantee it. The time when I relapse, that obsession gets so great, so great. You, you just, it's just like it compulses you, it pushes you into the bar and makes you drink. And you know something? I don't know if you can relate to that because it sounds pretty insane. It sounds like you have no control, but really alcoholics have no control over the booze and they don't have any control once the mental obsession has taken over. You gotta start changing your way of life, the way you see yourself and the world around you, your behavior, the way you respond to the world. You have to do a 180 to do it. Get involved in your program and those thoughts will go away, but don't ignore them. Don't ignore them, okay? Don't. Work on your recovery, don't ignore them. Pretend they, they're, you know, realize that they're there and work on them. Pray for they go away, help other people. It will go away, believe me. But do not, do not. It's like playing with fire, okay? So 
This video is really brief today because my GoPro battery started up, believe it or not, it started on fire and melted in my GoPro. In this camera, I lost one of the caps to the, the microphones. I, I had a terrible day today <laughs> doing videos. So I just thought I'd do a quick one, let you all know that watch out for this, watch out for the, the mental obsession. Be aware of it, that it does happen. Be aware that it is normal but be also be aware that you can do something about it. Just understand that you can do something about it, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe? Can you take another second and hit that like button? I'd really appreciate it, okay? God bless. Just remember, there's no I in team and sobriety is freedom. Okay. Well, I don't know. I talk too much sometimes. <laughs> See you later. God bless. Ciao for now. See you next week.